Welcome back guys. This is chapter 5 and today we are going to talk about question 5.7, 5.8 and 5.9. So these three questions are closely relevant with the binomial distribution and these are relevant with each other. So that's why we have been covering it in a single video. So let us talk about question 5.7 first and the statement of it is one prominent physician claims that 70% of those with lung cancer are chain smokers. Okay. So all the patients which have a lung cancer are 70% of them are basically the chain smokers. If this assertion is correct, so part A of it, find the probability that of 10 such patients recently admitted to a hospital, fewer than half are chain smokers. Okay, so let us first see the solution of it, and we can very clearly see that this question is again based on the Bernoulli trials and a certain Bernoulli trials in which there are basically 10 patients or 10 trials and out of them we have to see that fewer than half are chain smokers or fewer than half of them are basically true okay so that is basically true or false true means that a person who has a lung cancer is basically a chain smoker and false is that a person who has a lung cancer is not a chain smoker okay so how many of the trials we will have here in part a of it we will have n equal to 10 okay and the probability that out of the all lung cancer patients the chain smokers are basically 70 percent so the probability here would be 0 0.7 okay what do we have to find out in part a we have to find that fewer than half are chain smokers or half of this is 10 so we have to find the probability that k is less than 5 which is basically the probability that k is less than or equal to 4 okay so here we have to see that what is the probability that fewer than half are basically the chain smokers so how can we do it by using the binomial probability law we have to write here the total number of trials or total number of patients and here k is basically the number of the patients out of them which has the lung cancer and then we have to use here the probability of it which is k and then 1 minus p and minus k okay here we can see that we have here the number of patients who has basically the lung cancer so this is a separate formula for a single item but here as we have been doing it for different items so here we will have here probability that k is less than or equal to 4 it will be from p k equal to 0 all the values which corresponds with this condition would be here and also probability that k is equal to 1 plus probability that k is equal to 2 plus probability that k is equal to 3 and also the probability that k is equal to 4 okay so these all values are basically corresponds with these values here we have to see that here i have to put all these values which will be here so putting them here what will i get here i can cumulatively write them here as well k equal to to 0 up to k equal to 4 here and choose k probability of k and 1 minus p and minus k okay writing these values here what i will get from k equal to 0 up to 4 okay and is what n is 10 and here the values of k will be here and p is 0 0.7 0 0.7 k and 1 minus p is 0 0.3 and here it would be 10 minus k okay so taking all these values for all of them which is here 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 and here you have to find them all by using this formula okay which is cumulatively like this one and then putting them here adding them together you will get the answer of this question which is part a i'm not going to write the answer of it you have to calculate it yourself and you will see that the answer of it will be the same as it has been given in the answers of the book similarly in part b of it find the probability that 20 of such patients recently admitted to a hospital fewer than half are chain smokers okay so the condition here has been changed let me move somehow downwards and 
here the condition is this is part b and here we can see that the number of patients are now 20 and we have to see the probability that fewer than half are chain smokers so fewer than half here is 10 so here k is less than 10 or it would be probability that k is less than or equal to 9 okay in order to find it out again we will have probability of k is less than or equal to 9 so this would be from k equal to 0 plus k equal to 1 okay up to what up to the probability that k equal to 9 again using the same formula for which k is equal to 0 up to 9 here we will have n choose k so n is 20 this is k now probability will remain the same which is 0 0.7 and it is k and 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3 so n minus k 20 minus k finding them all what you will get you will get the answer of part b and here you will have to use this formula for all of these items and then add them together you will get the answer of it okay so that is what that is the solution of part b and you have been seeing that we have been using the binomial probability law and it is very handy in such type of question which i have told you that how to find out in which we have the number of bernoulli trials and you have to find out the certain sequences in which this condition is true or false okay so that is basically the solution of part b of my now let us move to question 5.8 and the statement of it is according to a study published by a group of university of massachusetts sociologists approximately 60 percent of the valium user in the state of massachusetts first took valium for psychological problems find the probability that among the next eight users from this state who are interviewed exactly three began taking valium for psychological problems and b at least five begin taking valium for problems that were not psychological okay so first of all you have to see the probability that what is the probability that the valium users were having the psychological problems or using the valium for the psychological problems and that is basically what this is 60 percent which is 0 0.6 okay and the total number of users which have been used for the trials are basically eight so n will be equal to eight okay so so, uh, the part A of it, on the basis of it, on part A of it, we have to see that exactly three began taking Valium for psychological problems. So, I want to find the probability that K is equal to three. Okay, this is very easy. And in order to find it out, I have to use the binomial probability law, which is N K P of K and one minus P n minus k okay let me put these values so the value of n is 8 the value of k is 3 okay it will be here uh, the value of p is 0 0.6 0 0.63 and 1 minus p 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 okay so it will be n minus k so 8 minus 3 is 5 okay so by using it you have to use what it will be 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial it would be 0 0.6 cube and 0 0.4 5 okay so by solving it you will get the answer of your question which is here so it is very easy in part b of my question at least five began taking valium for problems that were not psychological okay so now we have to see that here the problem is different here we have seen them that exactly three taking valium for psychological problems while here these are not for the psychological problems which means we have here the probability of the positives for this one would be one minus p and that would be one minus zero 0.6 and it would be 0.4 okay you have to keep in your mind that here the not psychological is basically the opposite of it so therefore what we will have to do here we have to find the probability that k prime which is the not psychological is having the range which is at least 5 at least 5 means uh, k is greater or equal to 5 okay and we can also find it out by a 1 minus probability of k prime is less than 
4. Okay, so here we have to do what 1 minus probability that x is. Let me remove it first. So, removing them first because this was a previous question. Okay, so let me write it here 1 minus p k a k prime is less than 4, it would be what k prime is is equal to 0 plus and up to the probability that k prime is equal to 4 okay so let me write the formula here here it would be 1 minus k prime is equal to 0 up to 4 and here it would be n and n here is what and here is the same which is 8 okay 8 k prime but here the probability of it will be the change one and that is the positive probability which is 0 0.4 0 0.4 and here it would be k prime and also here 1 minus 0 0.4 here would be what it would be 0 0.6 which is basically originally positive but here in this case it is negative because negative of negative is positive okay you have to keep in your mind that here not psychological problems uh, users are basically 0 0.4 while the psychological problem users are basically 0. 6 probability okay and here i have to write here 8 minus k prime okay so you have to find it out and it will be basically the answer of 5.8 part b okay so that is basically the solution of question 5.8 and what was basically the twist i have told you here that it was a twist and you have to be very attentive to the statements and you have to see that what is required now going to question 5.9 let me remove it first so in question 5.9 in testing a certain kind of truck tire over rigid terrain it is found that 25 percent of the trucks fails to complete the test run without a blowout out of the next 15 trucks tested find the probability that three to six have blowouts and b is fewer than four have blows out so here again you have to first see that what is the probability of blowing out that is 0.25 and what are basically the total number of trucks those are basically what 15 okay in part a what do we have to find out we have to find the probability that the trucks blown out are basically uh, ranges from 3 to 6 are greater or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 6 okay and here it would be what i have to use here again k is from 3 to 6 and um, here it will be n k the probability of it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 and here k and 1 minus 0 0.25 0 0.75 okay and here n minus k it will be like this one for part b of my question fewer than few have blows out okay so i have to find out the probability that k is what k is less than four okay and this is what we can very easily see that it will be from k equal to zero up to k is equal to three okay you have to find them out all and here the answer of it will be the solution of part b of it and you can also write it like from k equal to 0 up to 3 and here n of k okay probability of k and here 1 minus p probability and n minus k okay so this is what this would be the solution of part b of question 5.9 so uh, that's it for today's video in which we have seen the solution of question 5.7 5.8 5.9 though i did not give you the answers answers have been listed in your textbook as well but you have to see that what are basically the conceptual overviews how to see that whether a problem is relevant with the binomial probability law and how to solve them what are the approaches and that's it for today's video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon